What's up guys, Ryan Borden here. I'm actually working with Chase Reiner on AI Profits course and I'm gonna bring in here a part of a video from Chase because it's really relevant and I can't say it better than he does and we're working together on this. So let's hear from Chase and then I'll be back. Let's talk about automating your follow-up. Now, when you start getting people to enter in their emails to learn more about the things that you're offering, we need to follow up with them every single day. How do we do that? Well, we can either do it manually by sending them an email every day, opening up our email list and just sending out a message, or we can set up something called a sequence. And a sequence is just pre-written emails that send every single day. If you look in the spreadsheet, I have a list of different things that are called swipe files. A swipe file is pre-loaded emails that you can use that I've already written that'll help you sell things. So for example, if you wanted to sell my Shine Ranker tool, you could load up this sequence. It's got email one, email two, all the emails that you'll need to sell the tool. Now with Shine Ranker, you get 30% reoccurring lifetime. Anytime somebody pays, you get 30% when they sign up through your link. With the AI profits course, I also have a swipe file and you get 50% of anybody who signs up. You can also build your own swipe files or you can build your own sequences. Let's say you're in a completely different industry and you're selling tree services and you want to get people into an estimate for their house that needs their trees cut around it. I don't know how tree services work, but what I'm saying is that no matter what, you can start out with email one, email two, email three, email four, and you can load them up prior. And remember the seven day rule or the seven touch point rule, you, you want the person that's gonna be buying from you to see what you're offering seven different times. Now in these emails, you might say, well, I don't know what to write. All you really have to do is number one, become relatable. Tell them your story, tell them who you are. And you might not want to do that. You might just skip that, but I recommend that you tell them some sort of story and then just share the success that other people are having. Let's say you're a real estate agent. Oh, this person sold their house and they made all this money and now they're happy and all their problems went away. If you look at shine ranker, the shine ranker swipe file and people sell this, it talks about people that are ranking higher on Google or talks about people that are enjoying using the tool. So you don't have to write anything technical, just show people that are successful and then keep offering them the deal. So how do we actually build the email campaign for this in the sequence for this in system? So we're logged into system.io right here. And I just want to give a brief explanation. Hopefully you've watched the last couple of videos on system, how to get started, and then how to set up the page. System is, um, I don't know how to say it. It's different than a lot of CRMs that I have used. They, they label things different. The end result is the same. It's got different labels. So my breakdown of funnels. So under funnels, they call it funnels. I would call this pages because to me, a funnel is a bunch of emails being sent and you don't send any emails under funnels. This is actually only just a page builder. So that's your page builder. We actually send all of our emails under here. Now they have newsletters, campaigns, and then statistics. We're going to use campaigns because campaigns is like a sequence. Uh, where you send one email after another after another, right? So remember the seven touch the seven touch point rule like Chase talked about where you want to email them seven times. And so in AI Profits course, we actually have the, let me pull it up, the uh, swipe file. So let's say that we're doing AI Profits course promotion here. So we can actually just grab this swipe file here and let me bring this in where we can all see this. And so we have our swipe file, which is, again, this is a series of emails. So this says, I think, seven, and it does have seven emails. So again, if you're doing like affiliate stuff, generally speaking, they're going to have their own swipe files. So you can grab theirs. But let's say we're doing AI Profit since we built the AI Profit Lander for the last one. We go here to emails and we go to campaigns. And so let's create a campaign. And I'm just going to call it AI Profit. 
and the description is whatever we don't even need one so once we have it created now we're going to go into it by clicking on it here and now we can actually add an email to this so let's add an email we're going to do the sender name so i'm going to put ryan borden and the subject let's see if i can i don't know that this is gonna see if i can split screen this just a little bit here so we can get back and forth easily so in our profit swipe file we have the subject actually here it's all there so all we have to do is copy the subject over here and then we get to choose the visual editor or we want the classic editor so visual editor is going to be with pictures and it's going to be kind of like the landing page builder builder or something in wordpress where you drop in blocks and and different things um whereas the classic editor is just going to be plain text these emails are really just plain text so that's what i'm going to choose the classic editor Again, if they have a swipe file for whatever, you can choose, you know, however it suits your fancy. You can test both, see what works, whatever. All you're going to do here is copy this email, right? So email one, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in here. Not hard. So name here, obviously I would put my name there. So Ryan and blah, 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 blah. And then click here. This is where you're going to put your affiliate link. So let's just say, I'm just going to go to AI Profits. and grab this link obviously you would use your affiliate link i'm gonna just grab this particular link and assume that this is my affiliate link and then i would just put this here and change the link and okay and then get started and then obviously you're gonna place the name with ryan and so that's really it right as far as the actual email goes so so we can save and send a test email and see what the email looks like. We can edit in the new editor, which again is that uh, like fancier kind of editor. And you can change the footer on your email settings page if you need to do that. Probably all that's not relevant. So I'm gonna save. It's a good idea to save often. And then here we need to set up some more settings. There's delay settings, but we also need to, so there's the delay and that has to be set up. This is set up with a zero and see this is again we're kind of doing over the shoulder i haven't actually done this that's a side note that's for yourself and so i'm going to just publish this bad boy okay so when we publish we have the delay so this is going to be our initial email that comes in for the ai profits lander so remember last time we built our landing page which looks like so Whoa, if I get here, we built our landing page, which looks like so. So they're going to submit their email, hit start automating now, and they're going to be sent to our affiliate link to buy. But then they're also going to immediately get an email from us as well. So we're going to put this just at zero minutes because I want it to go immediately after nothing. And we can set up a specific time when email wants to be sent or days of the week when it should be sent and that sort of thing. So if you need to publish those because you find that you get it's like in your particular business if you're doing this and you get phone calls when you send emails then you probably want to publish this during business hours and at a time when you're going to be able to answer the phone you don't want it to send it 3 a.m and then call you because either you're going to get woke up or you know you're not going to answer so i'm going to hit publish because this is we're looking for automated email sequences here now we could do our next campaign and i just want to show you this next one uh, and I'd like these videos to be a little shorter, but it does just take a minute to do some of this stuff. So we're going to do sender name again, Ryan Borden. So this is email two. Okay. And I'll show you why this is important. And then I'm not going to build out the rest of the sequence, but this is classic editor create and grab this email. And this one actually has a picture. So I'm going to paste it in here. I even brought the picture and look at that. And let me just, I'm just going to edit this stuff and pause the video for a second. Okay. So I edited, put in my name, the guy, this is obviously you change this to girl. If you're a girl, etc. put in my name, I put in my name and edited those elements that make sense. Uh, put in a link and then Ryan again, and then edited my name down here for the picture. If it doesn't copy and paste over for you, then you obviously would just save this picture to your um i so i do it generically 
uh, cause I just want stuff to work. You would save this picture so you could save it to keep and then download it from there. Since it's in Google drive, you could copy and paste it. If you needed to add your own picture for some reason, it's really easy to do. You're just looking for the little picture image thing, and then you're going to punch in the URL or just upload it from your computer. And we put in the picture. So I'm going to save and publish. And then I want to delay this for one day after this first email. Now, so now we have it also, it's important to note with system that it delays or it uh, displays everything in order that it goes. So this email will be sent first and then this email will be delayed one after when I do an email. So like if I just add an email, that's whatever, whatever, and I just do this and it is in like a non-active state, right? So I punch in some nonsense here and I just save it. Right, and I get out. See how it's not active? It always gets stuffed up, stuffed up at the top, but it's not going to get sent because it's not active. As soon as I publish this email and put it to be sent, um, like let's say I put it to be sent three minutes after this one, then it's going to shove it below that. So it only sends the ones in green, and you have to punch in, tell it when to send the particular ones, and you can deactivate it if you do it on accident. You can see stats. Um, you can duplicate them, which is kind of helpful sometimes, and you can even delete them. I could go in here, though, and I could edit this as well. And let's say that I want to change it to be doing three minutes after the first one. I want to shove that in the middle. And now it lets us, you know, stuff in the middle. So it's going to proceed in order from here, and you can see the delay. This one straight away, then three minutes, then one day. And so how do we make this work automatically? The last thing we need to do is tie this campaign to the page that we built. So we're going to go to what they call funnels, which is the page builder. And I'm going to go to AI profits, squeeze page lander, because that is the landing page that we built. And so this is our landing page that we built in the last email member. Remember it is or the last video. Sorry. This is our landing page that we built. And now we're going to go to an automation rule and we're going to add a rule. So final step form subscribed or page visit. We're going to do this form subscribe. So the, when they subscribe to this form, we want an action to happen. And now that we've added it, so occurs when a contact is subscribed to the form, we're going to add the action we want it to take and we want to subscribe it to a campaign, subscribe to the campaign. The campaign is the one we just did AI profits, save rule. And so now what happens is if I go here to this squeeze page and go to support at ryanborden.com and hit start automating now, it redirects me to the buy page that loads up and then it's going to execute the campaign. And the first thing in our campaign was to immediately send that initial email, which we got from here, which was email one. So let me see if I can pull that up. And I'll I have to blur, blur out these other emails, but here it is setting at the top of my inbox. If we open it up, we can see the message we just sent, right? You're not going to believe this Ryan here, blah, 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 blah. And then our link. And then we have the unsubscribe down below and that sort of stuff. And so what I do notice is can spam requires an address down here. And we never did set up the account. Remember we're over to the shoulder here. Like you've seen what I've seen. I've recorded basically everything that I've done. So in account settings here, account settings. Uh, this is all required. So they're not going to want to send a whole lot of emails for you unless you put in this information. Now it does depend on your country, right? So different countries have different rules and I assume that they adhere to that. So in the United States, it does require to have a physical address here and they're going to, whatever address you put in here, I didn't try it, but I give you a 99% chance that that address is going to show up at the bottom of the email address. So, uh, you can choose to do like a rented address, a service or like a PO box or whatever, but at any rate it works, right? So we set up our funnel, which is our page. And then we set up our email campaign and we tied the two of them together. And now whenever someone goes to our landing page and subscribes, they get sent to the buy page and then they get sent the email that we just saw there. And that is how you set up the automated email opt-in campaign sequence.